Welcome back to Jersey Matters. Opportunity zones are set up in economically distressed areas of New Jersey to give tax incentives and hopefully attract investors. But what if the investors don't come? That's where Bob Hutchins, founder and CEO of Elevaz Impact Capital comes in. Bob, thanks so much for doing this. You have a, an interesting business model in that you're a for-profit company that is doing some work that normally nonprofits would do. But, but so you have companies that are in it for a profit, but get to leave with a good conscience. Ha, explain what you're doing. Right. We're doing real impact investing here in New Jersey. And the interesting part about our model is that we are a true partnership, a public-private partnership with New Jersey Community Capital, the largest community development financing institution in New Jersey. Essentially, a CDFI is a not-for-profit bank that invests in distressed communities. And with regards to New Jersey Community Capital, they've been doing it 34 years successfully here in New Jersey. Well, let me stop you there. Why do they need you then? If they've been doing it successfully as a non-for-profit, why do they have to bring in a company that does it for-profit? Great question, Larry. And this is really the premise for, beginning, for the beginning of Elevaz Impact Capital. My experience has shown over the last 30 years working in the nonprofit sector, in public accounting, consulting, and entrepreneurship, both for-profit and social entrepreneurship, that nonprofits that are mission-driven, have, have excellent human capital, expertise, technical abilities, but they're underfunded. My mission, our mission, is to build sustainable communities by providing the asset class for private sector capital to confidently invest in impact projects, and this is high impact projects, that create dignified, affordable homes and decent work for community members. The problem with the nonprofit is they're underfunded. So Professor Michael Porter has been talking about shared values investing for decades. Where is he from, Professor Porter? Harvard. He's the father of strategic planning and one of those uh, thought leaders that I've followed for decades. His uh, work on shared values investing is, was, was really very important to me. And, I, and, and so when I started Elevaz Impact Capital, we started it based truly on his, his theories that capital should go to where society needs it the most and that you can weigh equally the investor's interest with the community's and society's needs. And we've well, successfully good. done that. Yeah, it's a wonderful thought. Let's talk about some specific projects. I know you have one project you're very proud of in Newark right now and another one in Trenton. Thank you, Larry. Yeah, we love the Newark project, not only because it's our firstborn, uh, but it's so critically important coming out of this pandemic. It's the repurpose and renovation of the old St. Michael's Hospital which sits across the street from the new St. Michael's Medical Center in Newark. It's being repurposed into three, the th three floors of workforce housing, which will provide very nice quality, affordable housing for our essential workers, nurses, sure. hospital workers, supply chain workers, and the people who protected us, fed us, and took care of us during the, this, this past 12 months. The bottom two floors, which are gonna be much more sexy, are gonna be made up of uh, a glass blowing factory, which will train uh, the youth in the neighborhood on the trade of glass blowing, have educational classes, we'll have artist studios. It sits in, on the corner of the arts district in Newark. So it fits beautifully into uh, the whole Newark, Newark urban planning project. And what about Trenton? Trenton is, I, is a another exciting uh, project for us in a very different way though. Uh, it's, it's a 46 unit affordable uh, three building apartment complex coming off of a, uh, a low income housing tax credit 
uh, deal, which uh, needs work. Uh, our plan is to uh, put a significant amount of money, acquire the property, put in a significant amount of uh, remodeling. Uh, we're going to use uh, uh, all Energy Star products. We take out the lead, we remove asbestos, we improve the HVAC, new windows, flower boxes. We want to create community. Uh, and then we're also going to acquire uh, uh, infill lots all around the three buildings. We want to build a community garden. We want to improve the playground. And we'll be acquiring properties almost around the whole block because we're, we are strategic in our, in our thinking. We're long-term, 10 years. In most cases, developers are transactional. And in opportunity zones, unfortunately, they've been very transactional. Go in, build, and leave. We're building communities, not building property. We're building communities. So we'll follow up with partnering with our not-for-profit uh, friends to provide child care services within our buildings. Uh, we're looking for free or reduced Wi-Fi within our properties so that there'll be educational quality for the students that live there. We are working with uh, not-for-profits like Youth Build and Respond that uh, have construction trade training programs and we want to use these apprentices that perhaps are high school dropouts uh will help them get their gsds as they learn a trade that's uh, great i know i know it's the the benefits go on and on and on unfortunately we're running out of time a little bit do you, are you looking for more projects and or investors we're looking for investors, yes, and we're looking at projects. We have that. There's a lot of projects out there, a lot of worthwhile projects. Um, we're 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 just recently now launching our third and fourth funds. Funds one and two were fully subscribed. Funds three and four. So we're out there fundraising. Uh, we're talking to CPAs, financial advisors, tax attorneys who represent clients with very large capital gains for our fund three. We're a resource for those professionals and the investors. For those investors, by the way, since it's an enterprise zone, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, uh, but is there? It's an important point on what you're saying. Is there a tax benefit to this? Oh my God, yeah. The tax benefits are terrific. In a, in our fund three, the opportunity zone fund, you get to defer your capital gain. Let me use an example, if I might. I paid a hundred thousand dollars for stock. I sold it for a million dollars. If I paid the federal and state capital gains tax, it would be about a third. So I would pay $300,000 in taxes and I would have $700,000 left. If I took that 900 and I reinvested it into an opportunity fund, I defer payment on the, on the capital gain of 900,000 until I file my 2026 tax return. And even at that, that the time value of money, of course, is 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 valuable. You're and the, you're investing the additional three hundred thousand dollars during that period of time. But even at that, at the when I file my two thousand and twenty six tax return, I get a fifteen. Now it's a ten percent discount on the gain that I recognize. So instead of paying tax on nine hundred thousand, I pay tax on eight hundred and ten thousand. So you're talking about a couple hundred thousand dollars you could save. Oh, yeah. And this is the beautiful part, though. At the end of 10 years, if my 900,000 grows to be a million nine hundred thousand dollars at the end of the, the term of the fund and we, we, we liquidate the fund, the million dollar profit to me is completely tax free federal and state. Wow. Uh, like I said, I'm running out of time. But is there a way for people to get a hold of you? Absolutely. We are, uh, my phone number, my cell phone number is 908-330-2029. My email is robert at elevaz, E-L-L-A-V-O-Z dot com. It's Elevaz Impact Capital in Belmar, New Jersey. We look forward to talking to our investor partners. By the way, we all invest alongside on every fund with our partners. Um, we, we're, we welcome new, new 
what we call impact angels to our network who want to be active impact partners. Robert Hutchins, founder and CEO of Elevaz Impact Capital. Still to come on Jersey Matters. So these here are chicken nuggets, but they're not for me. They're actually for my new friend here, Riley. Coming up next, we'll tell you what this food truck here is all about.